Okay. Absolutely. Hi, good morning. My name is Nigeria Chambers of Big Go Belt Media. Sean, it's a pleasure to talk to you today. Hey. And congratulations on the new film, The Iron Claw. Um, I want to start off by uh, asking about AEW world champion MJF, who we know plays the character Lance Vaughn, Eric, who basically makes a cameo in this film. But anybody who knows the story knows just the significance of this character person to the family story. Um, there have been some rumors kind of swirling around that there maybe have been more film with this character. Um, I was wondering if you could go into detail if that is true um, about uh, the additional scenes that might have been filmed with this character and and the decisions to leave this story, part of the story out. Well, in, in the whole process of, of telling the story, there's so much about the Von Erichs and... Uh, you know, you couldn't fit it into to you know a ten hour mini a ten hour limited series. So uh, there were so many difficult choices. You know, the Lance storyline was one that I was really interested in and really wanted to be a part of it, um, but it just didn't it didn't end up making it like like so many big moments of their lives and I, and I really a big part of that was just focusing you know you got you have to focus a film on what the core is and the the core of this version of the, of the of the family mm -hmm. is about how Kevin survived um, and so everything in it um, but yeah but Max came in and made a cameo for us playing Lance uh, to have a bit of that flavor, a bit of that moment, and 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 also the fun of being, you know, if you don't know, you know, it might you might miss it. But I wanted to have a few things in there like that for for fans to see and 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 to latch onto without overstating them. Absolutely, yeah. And I kind of circle back to that question just a little bit more. I mean, yeah, you, you're telling a family story of thirty years plus, and you're getting this down into two just a little over two hours by the way just fantastic job to your crew editors and everybody to getting this done it's it's, it's a you. very seamless story and even for somebody who knows the background was able to come in here sort of with the critic lens and still appreciate it for what it was it's just a fantastic job can you appreciate can you that. talk about the technical challenges in terms of chunkating such a large story like what what is what is that process like for somebody like you yeah, it's, I mean, it took, it took years. I wrote the script for seven years, right? So there's, you know, years where Chris Von Erich is in the script. You know, there's years where, you know, uh, you know, Carrie's family is in it, or, you know, David has a child that dies. There's so much tragedy. And then also, you know, on the wrestling side, there's more stuff, but ultimately, you know, and it's an emotional process for me because I'm a wrestling fan and, and I love the details. And so, I spent years getting all the details right, and then you just have to keep sort of chipping away at finding the true story here. You know, the choice that I'm making here is that it's about Kevin, and it's about Kevin's survival. And so, again, it's like making choices that, that only tell that story, because in the end, the most powerful way to make a film is to, to do it in a focused way that still captures everything in a truthful way and gives you enough of all the things, but, but it has this core, which is about him. Yeah. Um, as, as a wrestling fan myself, obviously, and you, uh, talk about the emotions and bringing the two communities together. Yes, you know, wrestling is very niche and we know this this world of entertainment and cinema is also its own level community. But this film brought everybody together. Everybody's talking about it. Even if you're taking a look at AEW, they're bringing Avon Eriks in for a show. So obviously this, this movie is significantly moving everything. Can you talk about just that excitement, that emotion for yourself? Yeah, so so when I was, when I was a kid, uh, I was a big fan of theirs. Um, and, you know, I got to see Carrie live a few times, and I remember the day that I found out Carrie died. And um, it really haunted me. And actually, my dad's brother had died previously, uh, like, a, like, like pretty recently before that. And I think I made a connection between my dad's family and the Von Erich family, and in some way, like, they just stayed with me. So, so it was such a personal journey for me um, to really explore them, and 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 it really became first and foremost about a family and about a dynamic, a family dynamic, and exploring those trappings of masculinity, and um, and and what the real curse was uh, of of boys trying to fit into a mold and being tough, and 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 I think that that also like showing that and the physicality of wrestling. Uh, and and that and that detail of like what people have to put 
put down inside themselves to like go out into the ring the next day. And, and, and that was a story I hadn't seen. And so it was really important to me to get inside the emotion that's behind the curtain. Uh, and I think that that is what is, seems to be moving people the most, is that, uh, that side of things. And, and that was really what, what led me. Absolutely. Sean, thank you so much for your time. I'm really expecting to hear this film, your name, your cast member's name called very early next year. I think you got one here. <laughs> Thanks very much. Absolutely, buddy. <laughs> Thank you.